How do you find hope after a horrendous crime? As Maya Trabalsi of public media station KPBS in San Diego tells us, a group of mothers who lost children to murder have a message for inmates in prison for committing violent crimes. Evelyn Bravo lost her 21-year-old son seven years ago, killed as he walked out of a friend's house in the City Heights neighborhood of San Diego. This is where my, my son is buried. Her pain as raw now as it was then and during the five years she spent in court until two men were finally convicted of his murder. And I went into court crying for the son that I had lost and I left that courtroom crying for these young people that decided to take my son's life. She used her own tragic story to affect change. Together with other moms of murdered sons and daughters, she formed a group called Mothers with a Message. It's a mother's pain. We carry our child for nine months. And when that child is taken, at whatever age that may be, something inside of you um, dies. The women took their grief into the community, hoping to divert teenagers away from crime before more murders took place, but also after within the correctional system itself. The reason we're here is so that we can share our stories. And by sharing, we, we begin to understand each other. And by understanding each other, we begin to heal. On a recent visit to Sentinella State Prison, the mothers with a message spoke with inmates, some of whom have been in prison since they were teenagers, and some may never be eligible for parole. Jason Hernandez is serving a sentence of 84 years to life. Sorry. Sorry doesn't cover it. Sorry, sorry to a lot of people is a word, and it doesn't cover the pain. How, how, do you, how do you give a mom her child back? You can't. How do you give the, the children their dad back? They can't. Antonio Cruz has been in prison since he was 16. I love this class. I know I owe them more than an apology. I owe them my life. I regret ever making such a decision that took what was to me a gang member, was a son to his mother, was a father, was an uncle. The workshops, led by Mothers with a Message, reach outside prison walls, too. Hi, I'm former world and U.S. skateboard champion Dennis Martinez. I lost everything. Dennis Martinez turned a life of drug addiction into prison ministry. I don't care if they're blasted with tattoos or if whatever crime they've committed. If they're willing to change, I was willing to work with them. Once he heard the Mothers with a Message story, he knew he could use it to help offenders entering back into society go to prison, your family goes to prison, your wife goes to prison, your kids go to prison. He runs a faith-based residential treatment facility called Training Center in San Diego, designed to help transition men back to life on the outside. You can never go back in time and change what took place, but you sure darn well can change this moment right now and move forward to make sure that it never happens again. And that's my job is to get these guys prepared to come out. And so I need the right tools to accomplish this. So I'm gonna, I need the shotgun blast. And the mothers with a message is my shotgun blast. Hey Mike, we serve time together. We went through the struggle. Matthew Conant was 19 when he entered the prison system. I shot and killed somebody. I was uh, arrested, convicted, and sent to prison on a 20 to life sentence. He served 25 years, mostly in maximum security facilities, before finally earning parole. But he says it took most of that time and a long list of behavioral infractions before he would change his mentality, never expecting to be released. He says the mothers and their message finally gave him a vicarious look at his own victim's family. And if you're any bit of a human being or have any humanity left in you, when you hear their story, you can't help but realize what you did and, and despise what you did. And it just changes your, it remolds your thinking. So the class is priceless. And put myself in this position where I'm locked in this cage every day. Now as a free man, Conant, also known by the rapper name MC, joins Martinez inside the prisons and at training so center. Living, right? testifying how he was rehabilitated from the inside. The obligation to do what's right while we have a chance to do what's right. Man. Before he was let out, living evidence of the impact. 
of a mother's message. I thought I was going there to see what I could give them, but they actually did something for me because my heart was in a lot of pain and they offered me a little bit of, of peace. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Maya Trabulsi in San Diego.